What is going on YouTube family? Today we are on episode 22 of the Andrew Cause podcast. I can't believe that it's already been 22 episodes, but today we're talking about a topic that I love, a topic that is quite polarizing, and it's basically I believe college can be two things, two things. It can be a four-year vacation or a launching pad. So I made a video about this on Instagram and it performed incredibly. Um, It's going to be the first link in the description if you want to see it. It was when I graduated and I came to the realization because I saw so many people graduate and panic because they didn't ask all of the questions that I asked myself as a freshman and as an incoming freshman the summer before I got into school. All these really tough questions about what do I want to do with my life? What do I, what makes me fulfilled? What makes me happy? And when you know all these questions, you know exactly how to use the college system to benefit you and your dreams, whether it's creating a business, whether it's whatever you want to create, it helps you know the proper direction. If you don't ask yourself these hard questions beforehand, you're going to get in and you're just going to start going with the flow like everyone else. And then upon graduation, you're going to be lost. And you can fall into depression because you've done all this work and you're going to have to get a job in possibly something you didn't even major in. So it's this huge epidemic that I witnessed of depression and being lost that a lot of my fellow business students at USC had to deal with. This is why I'm putting this episode out. This is why I think it's so important because it's all about how you go into college. So here are the two choices. If you want to use it as a four-year vacation... You're just going to be like everyone else. You're going to go to all the frat parties. You're going to go to Cabo for spring break, maybe Florida if you're in the southeast area. You're going to go to Coachella. You're going to drink four nights a week, and you're not going to think for a single second about your future until you graduate. And then you realize that you've done nothing for the past four years to arm you with the skills that you need to succeed in the real world, okay? That's one path. So you just go to your classes. Classes take up 15 hours per week on average for a college student if you're just taking the normal amount. And then the rest of your time you spend basically just having fun. You're out of the house, you're watching video games, movies, hanging out with friends, girlfriends, beer pong. You're just doing the college lifestyle, right? Or you can use it as a launching pad, which is exactly what I did. And it really created this huge delta between being like everyone else and being an outlier. So with how you use a launching pad, you learn the skills that require, that is required to be extremely successful in whatever you're doing. It doesn't even have to be business, but whatever you're doing at a stress-free and pressure-free time in your life. Why is it pressure-free? Because you don't have bills to pay. You don't have college debt to pay for. You don't have a family or a mortgage to pay for. It's a stress-free and pressure-free time. Pressure-free, when I say that, is no one expects you to have a successful business or be a successful entrepreneur when you're in college. As soon as you get out, everyone's going to be like, why are you not getting a job for six figures? Why are you not working for a company? Why are you sitting in your mom's basement and, and thinking of an idea when you can go get a job? That's pressure. And that that causes so much stress upon people who graduate because they can take the easy way out and go get that job wherever they want to go. But instead, they want to go do something else where they're not going to make any money for a while, but they will cash out bigger in the long term. It's a huge, it's a huge stress when you go that way. Um, In addition, you can use it as a launching pad because you can test and experiment with different businesses, ideas, and marketing tactics and building a brand. During those four years, it's four years of your life where you can be experimenting different ideas, even if they're all failures. Let's say you start a t-shirt, it fails. You start a brand, it fails. You're still learning how to design, how to use Photoshop, how to build a website, how to get traffic, how to market. You're sharpening the skills that you're going to need. Now, that's the worst case scenario is you get the skills, but you don't have a successful business. If you're careful and you do it right and you think things out, like all the other previous episodes I was talking about, if you have a good idea and then you slowly start sharpening your skills, you're going to graduate with a successful business. While everyone else is lost and forced into taking that corporate job, 
you'll have a successful business that makes two, three times as much as they'll ever make at that job, okay? Um, in addition, you can use a launching pad as utilizing the professors for their knowledge, which you won't have access to once you graduate, using the whole university system to work for you, connecting with alumni that can connect you with the right people, and all the other student entrepreneurs at your university, really building a network that propels your ideas so that when you leave school, you can do so with a successful business with the free help that you have at your university. So you use it instead of a vacation as a time to learn, not only in the classroom, especially outside of the classroom by reading a lot, whether it's business books or interviews. But again, I really think that experience and actually doing it is way more powerful than you reading a whole bunch while in college. I think acting is where you learn the most. So most people just go to college to party and socialize, and that's fine because a lot of people aren't ambitious and they don't have dreams to be a millionaire, a billionaire, or achieve these great things and build and grow brands. But if you wanna be like everyone else, you do what everyone else is doing. But if you wanna be different, if you wanna be featured in Forbes while you're in college, you wanna be an outlier, you have to act different. If you want to be an outlier, you have to do what other people aren't willing to do, okay? It's your choice on how much progress you make during these four years. It really is. But just know that I firsthand saw so many people go into this lost stage where they don't know what they're doing, getting depressed, because they didn't ask themselves these really important questions early on and then once they graduate, they're forced to figure out these really big questions. So I'd rather you ask yourself, what makes you happy? Do you want to work for someone else? Do you want to start your business? Do you want to grow a brand? Or do you want to work your way up a corporate ladder? Do you want to be an innovator? Do you want all that pressure on you? If you figure out the answers to all these questions before you actually get into college, it's much clearer whether you go down one path or the other. Now, I'm not saying that you go to college and you don't socialize and you don't party. It's not an either or. You can still be an entrepreneur and take one night off a month. You can still be an entrepreneur and go out every single week. But that doesn't mean that because you go out one time for four or five hours, you scrap the entire week and you don't work the rest of the time. It is so easy to balance both, which is what the next episode is gonna be about, how to balance college and business at the exact same time but I'm just saying, as soon as you step foot on your college campus, you have two choices. Be like everyone else, use it as a vacation, do your 15 hours of classwork, do homework every now and then, and still barely make the deadlines, or you can be a successful tester, experimenter, sharpening your skills, and leaving business with a successful, or leaving uh, college with a successful business. This is a key. Everyone asks me, how did you do that while you're in college? And I said, because while everyone else was partying, while everyone else was in Cabo, I was in my room working. During spring break, everybody at USC went to Cabo because it's just a little bit south. And I stayed at home and I worked the entire time because I knew these moments when everyone is doing all those things, when everyone's going out, when everyone is doing all this other bullshit, I knew I was separating myself from everyone else. And then you see that no one gets featured in Forbes. No one pulls the numbers that I was pulling. No one has the same social following because while they're doing all this dumb shit that everyone else is doing that isn't giving them any fulfillment at all, if anything, they might have some regrets, if you know what I mean. I'm here building. So as soon as I graduated, I knew exactly what to do. I had the skills to do it. I had the money to do it. So it's just really, do you want to be an outlier? That's my question for you. If you're in college and you want to be an outlier, you can't do what everyone else is doing. Follow the footsteps of myself and other successful college entrepreneurs. You all know a lot of successful college entrepreneurs um, from Michael Dell to Mark Zuckerberg to the founder of Snapchat. It's, it's very clear that it's a risk-free time to learn and experiment, and it's a vital time for you to ask yourself real ass questions so that you don't have that pressure that everyone else has as soon as they graduate. That is gonna be all for today's episode. If you wanna be a successful college entrepreneur, 
Just ask yourself what makes you happy before you step foot on campus. As soon as that's clear, you're going to walk in there with purpose and you're going to be like, oh, I would rather sit and read an entire business book tonight instead of going out and drinking and really doing nothing, really accomplishing nothing. Of course, you're going to go out tons of times, even if you're doing all this stuff, right? You're still going to have your fun. You're still going to do your beer pong tournaments and all that other bullshit. But it doesn't need to be the focal point. Alcohol is not the focal point of college. Being a successful entrepreneur is. You can balance both. And just remember, when you walk onto college campus, when you step foot onto the college campus, just know that you have two directions. Be like everyone else or use it as a launching pad. Okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all of you use those four years as a launching pad instead of a vacation because no one expects anything from you. If you're a real hustler, you're going to do it regardless of what everyone else is doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video that's all about how to balance college and business, my hour by hour breakdown, my semester breakdown to make it a lot easier for you to comprehend how to balance the two that are seemingly really hard, but not really. All right. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Happy hunting. Tell me Peace. what you see when you see me. All I see is dollar, dollar, dollar bill. Tell me what you see when you see me. All I see is.